That we are. That we are. We're trying to avoid these damn slimes. Get the hell away from us. Get Again. <laughs> okay, the iron... Oh, by the way, this is Ian here with... Wait. Greetings, co-processors. Ian here with Verbal Processing, and I am joined by, by esteemed collaborator. It's Lord Savine. How's it going, guys? Well, hopefully it's going great. I, I, I was starting to say before that I guess we're not technically back with Blackbeard's castle because the more astute viewer might notice that there is no castle here. <laughs> Yep, that, 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 that's definitely the case. Turns out that updates are important to have. Mm. So we are we are currently forging until 1.6, in which yep. case we'll be back. And that, that castle will happen. It's, it's, it's not just something we say and it never happens, kind of like Blizzard. It's the Cheos of all of these awesome updates we're getting. That All that Cheos is just, you know, we're going to have to wait it out. We're going to have to weather the storm going to have to avoid the danger uh, you know i don't know where i'm going with that let's move on <laughs> well um, i guess we better start off by getting some uh just some basic stuff like the workbench and the yeah. furnace and the good idea so go and get killed is that is that what you you meant yeah yeah that, that that's exactly what i was actually about to say i was gonna Got suggest a cave right you... here oh it's very lit very short cave <laughs> oh Oh, where's my rocket kill. boots? What the hell? Yeah, I still I... haven't gotten one of those. <laughs> I want. Goblin, you can has want. The right. can has cheeseburger guy bought that site and has just made... He bought that and... F he didn't actually create the site. He bought it from somebody and he also bought Failblog. And it's basically he owns that sector of the internet now and just cashes checks. <laughs> oh, the blood moon. Perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. This is not Here good. Here they come. You know, it'd be worth it to get a blood moon every now and then if this the experience were... Ooh, you know what? Th this hilltop over here has naturally occurring zombie protection. Ooh, that could be good. Yeah, I'm thinking... Because they, they can't cross over from the left. I'm going hmm. I'm gonna clear off the stuff here and at least make a little watchtower or, or outpost of some kind. Now, the zombies are already being very rude and coming in without being asked. Naturally, naturally. Actually, they're all falling off the map to my left here, but I haven't seen any from the right. I really probably should use a real weapon. People have said yeah. that. <laughs> People seem to be really sensitive to that. Here's something I don't get. There's tons and tons of LPs of any game you want to watch out there. And if you want to watch somebody be awesome at a game, more this power to This is not it. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm the worst player, or that I'm a bad player, but I don't catch everything, and I like it that way. I think it's more fun to watch somebody where you can yell at the screen a little bit like, Oh my god, come on, you've got an IV whip right there! And I'm just blissfully like, well, I'm stuck in this pit. What the hell am I going to do? Hmm. I'm going to come over to you. All right. It's called having a personality. That's what I say personality what the hell is that yeah it's it's something some people aren't familiar with now something i've never gotten uh or uh, i've yet to get is how come these eyeballs can take multiple arrows yeah no kidding i took an arrow to my eyeball once and that was pretty much all she wrote i had to get a i had to get a llama eyeball to replace it a llama eyeball oh is yeah that, is that is that better than a normal eyeball yeah that's what i got yeah no, it's just what I could afford, man. You know, I don't have it. Didn't have insurance at the time, and just <laughs> llama eyeball <laughs> set me up. I'm sorry, llama. I never meant to hurt you. I only meant to give you gas, but tonight I'm cleaning up your carcass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was the, written the shady and rap. That's right. That was written and produced by my, my friend Tim Richardson. For He actually had a whole stage show he did with his character Tim Shady. Tim Shady. That's right. The real Tim Shady. The real Tim Shady. Do, does he stand up? He did the whole thing, man. I know that you're, you're making a joke, but he did the whole production. It was pretty outrageous. Nice. Yeah, good stuff. Here, we'll put a, we'll put a chest here. 
Oh, excellent. Uh, we could just make a whole little workroom down there. Yep. I did that with the other house, too, but... Cool. Yeah, whatever. I didn't need to co-op your house here. This one just, you know, I'm up on a hill. I feel all important. I'm looking down on the little people that are... Their flesh is rotting off, and they, they're ugly, and I hate them. Sort of like a real rich person. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Let's find us a cave. Good stuff. All right, well, let me drop off this workbench real quick here. We're going to go to the cave in the middle of a zombie-infested night. Yes, thank you. For some reason, I... <laughs> for some reason, I can't manage to select that part of my screen. This is the part where people are yelling at the screen, like, Ah, just pick the damn workbench! You know, it's right there! It's right there! And I'm just looking everywhere. Where's your workbench? Maybe I never made it. I think that I never made it. <laughs> okay, okay let's, make a, let's make an access point down to this uh, left cave area. All right, are we just going to get zombie stomping in that way, though? No, no, not if, no. If we do it right, all right. my LP, we can uh, we can get in without uh, getting zombied. Show me how it's done. Oh, I probably should have made some platforms before. I... Yeah. Oh, you can I make them. You can too. make them without the workbench. Is that a recent that. change? That must be. I'm pretty sure it used to require it, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it used to. I think the gold uh, pickaxe got a little faster. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Excellent. Now we can drop in. Excellent. Well, I've just littered that with... Oh, I, I love it. Okay, well, yeah, we've got ready cave access down here. That's right. Tally Jiffy cave. Aww, but Aww. it's a dead end. <laughs> what a boner kill. Maybe we should just hack our way over to the left here until we get to a cave. Yeah, we just gotta go through some uh, rotting flesh. So I changed my potion hotkey to W, and I like it a lot. Yeah, see, that would be bad for me because I keep trying to use W to jump because I've been playing a lot of indie games lately. <laughs> Let's see. I guess platform? Yeah, platform. Yeah. Well, I, was, I was actually I was just planning on digging to... Oh, you know what? Is there a cave entrance right there, though? Yep. Oh, okay. Let's do that, then. There we go. Oh, I think I think that a, a zombie actually spawned in the house and then fell down there. Okay. <laughs> Failness? More fail? Less fail. Less fail. There we go. Yes. Less fail. <laughs> Oh, this one's a dead end, too. Well, Wait. hold on. Nope. There's oh. some hope. Let's see. Uh, it might just be one of those little skinny... Oh, well, I guess we can keep going left. There's there's even more cave. Good, here good stuff. Yeah. yeah, let's rock it. Here, you you, you dig left. I'm just going to see if this this down portion goes in. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it like, no. Almost instantly. Fantastic. Instant fail! Oh my god! Oh, more fail! Less fail! Oh, less fail up here. Nice work. I know. There we go. Ah. That's why they call me Tutorial Master. <laughs> That's what the ladies call me. That's right. <laughs> Show me how it's done again, Lord Savine. Okay, so it's really dark, actually. I probably should have gotten flame arrows. That would have been pretty cool. I did enjoy your your, your tutorial on, on, on female masturbation. I thought that that was a, a pretty good one. I understand you give hands-on lessons with that as well. Hey, I've been known to do that from uh, time to time. Uh, ladies, hit me up. What's up? <laughs> or, uh, sorry, I, I need to do it properly. Uh, hey, girl. Yeah, what's up? We, we actually don't have any, any ladies watching. You understand that, right? Hey, actually, I, I have 11%. Back. Oh, you got 11%? Holy shit. Yeah, apparently I'm I'm the ladies' man. <laughs> so it would seem. Oh, there's there's quite ready, quite ready access to the underworld over here. Oh, that's good. Here's a demon altar over in this direction. Excellent. I will never be seeing that direction again, but it's good to know that it's there. <laughs> Are you like? I like... just felt, it, with my meager equipment, I just fell down far enough that that there's no jumping back up at this point. <laughs> I'm committed. <laughs> well, then I will head your direction in just uh, a second. Golden. Yeah, I, I guess sticking together is sexy. Uh, so I hear. Then it, then it becomes less single-player LP and more multiplayer. <laughs> well, it, well it's, it's, it's sort of single-player with two guys talking, at least. <laughs> okay, so, I think I see where you're going. I wonder, if my, I, I wonder if I have more female viewers now with the comic. I don't know. You can episode, check that. Yeah, it's on episode four. On Terraria, I got featured on Terraria Online. Got picked up. I don't know, like almost 300 subs in a day from that. And I'll that's retarded. Bet you, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll bet you a few of them were were 
most welcome female viewers, which I should probably stop alienating occasionally. <laughs> Less penis jokes. Where are you? Oh, we should join teams. Ah, uh, hey, you know, just because we just because we both have multiple Terraria LPs doesn't mean we. Let's see. I like to join green. Let's do green. Oh, okay. It says I must wait three seconds. There we go. Oh, okay. I see where you are. Oh, lag. <laughs> yeah, people people hassle me. Like, you know, for somebody who who has a Terraria LP, you don't know shit about the game. But here's my philosophy. Why would I want to know everything about the game? I want to discover it during the show. Yeah, it's half the fun. I guess it was a little over the top when I was... I was theorizing that you could only place doors from the left in my f the first ooh look what we have here very ooh. nice excellent <laughs> i was theori theorizing that doors could only be placed from the left in my first episode of jungle fever <laughs> nice nice <laughs> which is a little over the top <laughs> only from the left here let's you're on season 2 of your lp now aren't you yeah i just uh just did a revamp actually and it's it's kind of sad cuz like as soon as i did that of course the 1.6 was announced so i'll probably have to do it again but that's <laughs> okay um made a sweet house and i'm looking forward to adventure ooh gold yeah ooh hey getting down to the mushroom level as well dang i don't know what i see i see a black slime down there which means mother slimes no cougar slimes yeah we got some gold to harvest Kuka, Kukas, all around us. I need a hook, really. Do you have a hook yet? No, although, let's see, piranhas drop hooks nowadays, I believe. Oh, yeah, there's more things that do that now. Mm. Yeah, finally. Although, that being around piranhas is probably not the best plan right now. This isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the jungle, uh, the underground jungle didn't really work out a whole lot. Uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we no, took a chance. Death. I thought the jungle and the jungle won. All right, let's. Oh, here's a piranha. I guess the piranha's found here as well. Did I oh, get a hook? Right. Did I get a hook? No, no hook. But the good news is we can use this area to farm for hookage. Farm for hookers. Farm for hookers. Yeah, I'm always farming hookers. Wait, what? Well, what is it? it's like you're burying their bodies and trying to grow. I don't more know, hookers from the, more hookers, yeah. <laughs> Boy, oh, it's like when oh. I tried to grow uh, orange trees at my grandparents' house all the time. <laughs> but they lived in in Alaska. Yeah, well, they they lived in uh, kind of northwest Arkansas, and so of course orange trees can't can't work out there because no? it just it hard freezes. Because this is um, like fuck off, orange trees. You ain't growing here. I don't care what you say. We don't like your kind. That's right. Get out of here. We don't grow orange trees in my state. Get the hell out of here. Unless they wear blue dresses, then it's on. It's, this is really relevant to the audience here. What the hell? Blue dresses? I don't know what blue you're dresses. talking about. Blue dresses? That was before my time. Oh. It was Clinton. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. What's... Oh, I... Oh, you can't use... You can't use torches in water anymore. I totally forgot about nope. that. Nope, we're gonna have to get us some glow sticks. Mr. Bones coming up on the left. There we go. Wow, you, you do no damage to skeletons. Mr. Bones. Jangles. And I said to myself, I want to eat your flesh. Oh, baby. Yeah. And I Ooh, said to I... myself. Okay, talk about something being before your time. The you know, it's a wonderful world, a lot of Louis Armstrong stuff, well before my time, like by decades. But you know, those were some of my favorite songs when I was a kid. Oh, same here. Louis Armstrong is a is a pimp. Like to this day. <laughs> like the original. <laughs> like he is the original pimp. I what the hell just hit me? I don't know. Did oh I... mud will hit you like Sam. Oh that's right, yeah. Ah, all these changes. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like it's like we were frozen in a time capsule for the eight weeks it's been since we recorded for this series. <laughs> this is true. Oh, and I need to heal. We've woken up. We were frozen in the 50s, and we woke up in the 1990s. That's right. Grunge bands are roaming the earth. It's like, uh, was, was it Encino Man? That's right. That's right. It's, in fact, that's sort of the perfect era for the movie, too. Polly Shore. <laughs> Polly Shore. God, everybody for whom Polly Shore is before their time should thank whatever deity thank they Christ. consider worth thanking. <laughs> thank all Christ. Thank every Christ that's available to you. There we go. We can just 
cut right through there. All right, so we're gonna be delving down into the uh, down into the stinky darkness here. Uh, you know, we gotta get down here. There's a body we've had uh, stored down in the down in the caverns here for a while. We got we got word that the FBI sniffing around, so we gotta get that body out of here. Yeah, we got we gotta move it down a little further. That's right. To hell. We're gonna move it down to hell, along with any cop that sticks his nose into our business. Oh, hey now, I am getting killed. Wrecked. Wrecked. And wreckified. Uh, there we go. Excellent. Oh yeah, yeah. Survival, survival of the fittest. Oh come on, let me place a torch. <laughs> <laughs> For the love of crumb cake. Oh darn. Oh darn. Oh wait, why did I go down here? That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> this is really stupid. Okay, hold on. Air hole. Air, Air hole. hole. <laughs> Let's get a blow hole going, man. Oh, oh no no. Oh, oh, come on, what's happening? Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I ate a mushroom. Oh, oh, precious air. Holy crap. Ah, well, good times. On that note, we'll need to end it here. Oh, right on. Yes, good point. But, Watch uh, this, out, man. Well, this has been Lord Savine with my Steam collaborator, Ian, from Verbal Processing. That's right. Righto, kitty cats. And we will catch you in the next episode of Blackbeard's Castle. That's See you right. See you guys next time. Any more where this came from, so why don't you sign up? <laughs>